Well, welcome back to the shop again. I've got a confession. It's been way too long since we, I've worked on James, my 94 cab. We're, we're changing that today. Let's get to it. John Deere 420. Yeah, it doesn't look like a John Deere. That's right. First thing we gotta do is we're gonna block this wheel so that the truck doesn't roll. And then we gotta pull the two fenders off to get to the bushing that's right there. So let's get to it. I got the old one out without rubber on it. That's what it looks like, if anyone's interested or wondering. Um, the problem is this leaf seems like it doesn't want to go down far enough in order to get the new one in. And I'm not sure. So, I think I gotta go up higher with the frame. <coughs> I only know of one way to do that, and that's with the hijack. Yes, see what happens here. Come with me, and you'll see a world of OSHA violations. That definitely raised the uh, tires up with that that time, so I think if this doesn't work, I guess I don't know what I'm going to do. Do I have to do both sides or do I just pull this and get it out of the way? Of course, if I do that, then I don't know if I'll be able to get the new one or get it <coughs> back lined up. I'm gonna move the jack back underneath the airbag and see if I can push the airbag up, which hopefully will make it kind of rotate like this and drop this down. Oh, what was that? That scares me. Now the tires are going up again, in which case I believe I'd want both jacks underneath to do that. I'll go over and pull that bushing out so then that way the whole axle can tilt down in the front i'm hoping so I'll put a bottle jack back underneath the center leaf spring of this one add a bottle jack over here under the center of that one pull that old bushing there and then i can use the two bottle jacks to slowly drop the front of the leaf suspension hopefully down enough so that we can get to where the new bushing is going. All right, let's go with that.
being stubborn. Oh, this one's got shims in it. I'm not sure we put those back in. We got that one lowered down. Let's go over and get the other one. All right, that one's pretty much down too. So now we can start figuring out. I'm hoping this whole collar comes out, but I'm also kind of hoping it goes. I don't know. Yeah, it's got to come out. That's the same. Okay. Now we start beating. Maybe a little heat. Let's see what we can do here. It's time for some heat. Uh, let's melt rubber into a plastic container. I think that's a great idea. See what the idea is here? You cut a notch in it and you push it up in so that kind of you can kind of peel it so it's smaller and then you should be able to get it in. Pull it out. Just like that. See how that's curling? That's what I wanted to do. Just like that. I don't know, right, wrong, or indifferent, it's out. I feel like a good socket right here, or a pipe, I drive that thing right into where I want it. All right, so here's what I got. Here's the second bushing that we haven't started putting in yet. I remembered I had some steel pipe laying out back here. <clears throat> and, well, actually it'd go this way. I think that's gonna work pretty good. So, I was gonna take my cordless saws out and cut it right there, but that's taking forever. So, we'll just pull the whole thing out of the snow and take it in the shop, cut it with the saws all. Bring the other long piece back out, throw it in here, and see if our little short piece will do what we need it to.
Slowly but surely. takes a lot out of me. Oh, here's the ticket. Oh, this recording stuff get, is getting aggravating. I think someone tried texting me, and whenever something like that happens on this phone, it stops recording, and then I don't know it. But I cut a, cut a slice in there and then stuck the chisel up in there and it ripped it. I actually ripped it in a different spot than where I started cutting. But either way, you just got to get a little bit smaller than what it was so you can pound it out easier. So time to start pounding it out. So just like that, you take and slice a, a cut in it and then you're able to roll it in, which will make it smaller than the hole that it was in. And then uh, it pops right out. What do you want? I want you to come hold this big piece of pipe. Why? Because he's not very good at holding mine. If it was bigger, you can hold it better. You're horrible. That's enough. How do you hold Do you really need my help? No, I need you to hold this. <laughs> what? So you can see how it like, Yes, dear. You're not going to say shit. My head is in the way. You're not going to see nothing but my head. Better than my head. Making progress? Yeah. I'm good, isn't I? You just tell me what it's in. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> You're horrible. Go ahead, come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's always a big hurry. I'm not usually one in a rush. <laughs> Just gotta get to work in the morning. Okay. Oh, ow. That vibrated. I don't do that very often. <laughs> it was that one time. Stop it! <sighs> yeah, it's a little exhausting trying to get it in there. <laughs> It bent. That's not supposed to be bent. How'd it bend that? Honed it on it too hard. <laughs> what? I did. I was hammering on it. <laughs> okay. With the medium hammer. <laughs> not, not the big black handled hammer. Well, I guess I gotta get new ones. That's a good thing with one of eyes. Alright, do you want me to hold it again? <laughs> I always want you to hold it. Oh my god! Okay. It appears as though it's almost all the way in. It is. Can you feel it? I can see it. Yeah, we got problems on All right, now let's get to mounting these leaf springs back up onto the leaf spring brackets.
that's kind of worn out. And you can see there's a groove right here from the old one. It should have been in like that. In theory, that shouldn't have moved. I guess maybe it just sat there and vibrated. Must have. So this other retainer, I'm, I'm gonna call it a retainer clip or retainer piece on this side <clears throat> is hitting our bushing housing. It's, well, it's touching it, so. Kind of wondering. So that's how that's touching right there. A little worried about that. Or maybe that's just there so that the spring doesn't hit. Keeps the spring centered. And then this really moves, so I think we're going to go with it. And then we'll call someone. this one out. I'm going to take that one out too because I'm not sure. Alright, so that's in. Let's get this one on. Is there a washer laying around here? That's definitely holding these leaves over away from the bracket. So we're going to leave it just like that. Or I'm going to leave it just like that. And we'll add that to the list of things to ask Brian, the mechanic. Because I don't know. I'll try a bigger bar under the tire. truck but we got try to remember I think these were in between yeah looking at the bracket these were in between the uh, the bushing and the hanger bracket, so that's where we're gonna put them. <laughs> <laughs> 